I've only got about a 45 minute Bible study, so just calm down. <laughs> it's really good to see you all out here, that you love Israel, and that's why we're here, because we're reaching out to a people that need our help, need our prayers. God is moving in a great way in the, in the land. They just got back. They're going to be sharing a lot about what they just were given from the Lord, and it's exciting. They were sharing a little bit with me, and uh, God loves the land, wants to reach those in Israel, and you're going to be a big part of that. As we work together, I, I just really appreciate BIB's uh, vision, and they're going to share about their vision. Uh, I think it's so much different than what's out there as far as uh, what's going on as far as reaching Israel. It's something to really pray about and to really uh, ask the Lord if he would have you to be involved. It's, it's exciting. Shalom, y'all, as we say in Texas. Um, I'm very thankful that we're all here together. And I... Uh, I'm just amazed at what our, our Savior, Yeshua, is doing. I'm very thankful uh, for Marty, uh, for the great uh, witness he is and the great gifts he's been given. Like Marty, I'm a Jew born anew, and I'm very thankful for that, and I'm thankful that we're one body in Messiah, Yeshua. Amen? Well, um, uh, before explaining um, opportunities of how to support our Israeli partners, I'd like to first explain... Uh, who they are and their work in Israel, and I think you're going to get blessed. I'm, I'm confident of that because, uh, like Pastor Jeff just said, this is farm fresh stuff just back from Israel, right? Ezra and Shulamite, who but the Lord could have put us together with folks you've already been partnering with for a long time in Israel? And uh, those are the ones who are ministering to the Russian Jews, Daniel and Rachel Goldstein. Um, you won't see their picture because of the sensitivity of their ministry, but they're in Jerusalem. And they truly fulfill Romans 15, 26, and 27 as they give to the poor saints in Jerusalem. This was the first couple. These are ones my mom introduced me to that said, tens of millions of dollars are going all over the place in Israel. And we suffering saints in Jerusalem see none of it. Next, I want to talk about Oded Shoshani. There's a congregation called King of Kings in Jerusalem. And Oded Shoshani is the senior pastor of the Hebrew-speaking part of King of Kings. And he's also Sandy Shoshani from Pro-Life, Biad Chaim, Pro-Life, um, it's her husband. And uh, he has a few words to share with us about his ministry to the poor saints in Jerusalem. Hi, my name is Adet Shoshani, and I'm the pastor of the Hebrew congregation of King of Kings in Jerusalem. The resources we receive from blessing Israeli believers are used to help the poor in Jerusalem who are in urgent need. But really what's on our heart is to see those poor raised up from poverty into normal life where they can be self-sustained and be meaningful and influential in society. I want to thank you, blessing Israeli believers, for the relationship that we had until now and blessing the local needy in Jerusalem. Thank you. As Dove said, I'm the director of Ba'at Chaim, which is a national Israeli nonprofit organization in Israel, typically. Typically, I want to say every year, there's about 40,000 abortions. 20,000 of those abortions are paid for by the government. Another 20 to 30,000, it's unknown because it's unregulated. Our program, of course, and our goal is to save lives of the babies, but we also have a goal to save lives of the mothers. We want to see the mothers' lives changed. We want to give them hope. I like to call it double high, twice life. Life for the baby and life for the mom. She needs the hope of knowing that there's a loving God who cares for her as well as her child. So I'd love to save thousands of babies because then imagine what happens. By word of mouth, I want abortion to become very unpopular. I'll say it like this. If I save 400 babies in five years with $600,000, I surely want to be able to save 500 babies a year for sure. I mean, that would be like a, a, a small amount to say like that. I'm very, very grateful for your help, John. Thank you so much. Blessing Israeli Believes has made a major impact on the work here. You have been giving us enough funds to be able to save two babies a month. Isn't that amazing? Two babies a month. I mean, it's fantastic. The Jerusalem Institute for Justice is a legal firm 
that represents the Messianic believers in the land. They've won 400 cases in Israel, many at the Supreme Court level. Isn't that amazing? Think of the people we're rubbing shoulders with here. It's just who but the Lord, you know? And uh, they're doing a great work, and we have monthly commitments to JIJ. Uh, Ariel and Shayla uh, are a, a young couple who are in Israel. They're second-generation Messianics. And uh, this young couple is truly spectacular. Uh, Ariel was born and raised in Israel. He came to the USA for college. And Ariel graded, uh, graduated excuse me, summa cum laude from Wheaton College, double majoring in international relations and communications. He's currently serving in the IDF, and in part with financial support from blessing Israeli believers, is the founder of the Yeshua Project, which he will share with us right now. Hi, my name is Ariel Hyde. I'm an Israeli believer in Yeshua, Jesus, and I'd like to thank you so much for coming to this Blessing Israeli Believers Banquet. I'm an Israeli believer here in the land, and I've had the opportunity to serve in the IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces, and I actually travel every day from Haifa to Tel Aviv, and the Lord has opened up a lot of doors for me to share the gospel with Israeli soldiers, with officers, and with many other people. And the Lord has birthed through that the Yeshua Project, which is a project to present who Yeshua is to the Jewish people. But think of this, 2,600 years ago Israel was in existence and the Babylonians came and took them into captivity for 70 years. The prophet, specifically Jeremiah, said they were going to come back and they came back. That in itself is a miracle. Then 600 years later, the Romans did the same thing. Only uh, with the Romans, they well, both times, Jerusalem, the country was destroyed, Jerusalem was destroyed, and the temple was destroyed. Under the Romans, the dispersion was 1,900 years. They've come back. It's naturally like no other nation has done that. There's a supernatural element about Israel and the Jewish people, and that's the holy God of Israel behind them with the covenant that he made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's why they're back in the land. So this ministry, we look at it as a last day's ministry. As a pastor, one of my uh, prayers involved with blessing Israeli believers is not only seeing you who uh, come to hear and support. Uh, the most important part, I believe, of uh, working with uh, Israel is working with the Israeli believers. And I pray that more pastors like your wonderful pastor, uh, Pastor Jeff, who, who has a heart for Israel, has a desire to make a difference, not just give money away, but to see uh, uh, the Jews come to know their Messiah. And that's the greatest thing that we can possibly do. I believe we're in the end times. I believe that we are in the last days. And because of that, everything is winding up. And so the excitement is continuing to just do our best, commit the rest, but occupy till he comes. I think is the message and uh, to what we can do. Can we do something? And I think we can. So this is why we're here. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing from the newest reports from Israel and getting to know my brothers here that uh, we're kind of tied together. We, as we talk, we see what God's done in putting us together. Uh, so that's awesome. And looking forward to... Uh, many up and coming years if the Lord is to tarry to work with BIB and continue to see God do a work. And in this world turn cold and heartless and at a time we've lost our way. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord. Hallelujah. 
but let's gather the ones with the feet.